You know, one of the biggest misconceptions that I held when I was wearing wigs in the very beginning was that human hair wigs were too hard. They were going to be too much work. They would require styling every single time I put them on my head. That's one of the reasons I avoided them for the first few years of my wig wearing. I just couldn't fathom having to deal with styling hair, especially not after trying synthetic, which is typically pretty easy. The style is baked in. It's a throw and go often. And while the price point is another really big difference, I know that a lot of you are struggling with the wig wearing journey because synthetics just don't feel natural to you. They just don't look natural to you. And all of us, Every single one of us has different perce perceptions about things in life. And what's perfect and awesome to one person is not even remotely perfect or awesome to another. And wig wearing is no different. You know, we all have different likes, dislikes, preferences. What looks awesome to one of us doesn't With to another. Hair wig wearing, I think one of the biggest misconceptions is that it's hard. It's a lot of work. And now that I have almost two years of human hair wig wearing under my belt, I'm here to tell you that is a misconception. That's not necessarily true. Now, of course, it depends on what kind of style you want your hair to be in. If you want a super kind of curly human hair wig, but you're not purchasing a curly one, then yes, that will take Girls more work. Do fall out. And so unless you're comfortable with a really beautiful wave, which will hold probably in between washings, as long as you are caring for it and storing it properly, then I recommend you think about getting a wavy piece. This hair right here, it's just a little bit damp and that's what made me think of making this video. It's a wig by Deborah's Enchanted. It's one of her wavy pieces and it's so easy to wear. I don't have to style it at all. The only styling that I really do with this one is I spray it with water to kind of refresh the wave pattern. If it gets a little bit frizzy after wearing a few times, I can just spray it down with water, scrunch it up, and then let it air dry. I do put product on it occasionally, you know, curl refresher spray and things, but that's not something that I have to do every day or even every other time I wear it. Literally, this is one of the easiest wigs to wear. The thing I love about Deborah's wigs is the cap construction. So I, this one is quite heavy in the front. Sometimes I don't wanna wear it that heavy. Sure, I could get it customized. Sure, I could get it thinned. I just haven't taken time to do any of that. And so on days that I don't want it heavy in my face, I usually pull it up somehow. And what I love is that this cap has hand tied features. So you've got your lace on the top. This is actually a silk top. And then you've got hand tied features around the next that level. That allows me to be able to style this wig, pull it up into updos, and I don't have to worry about wefting showing. Sure, it's wefted. The wefting, I mean, let me feel it here. The wefting starts right about here. So all of this is hand tied, which gives me so much styling flexibility. So if you're new to wig wearing and you're trying to decide, do I buy synthetic? Do I buy human hair? What's easier? What's harder? It really depends, but human hair isn't as hard as people think.